Hello everyone, Kirk here, your video math teacher for Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 this year. It's been a great year and as you can see from my general unshavedness and this hat, I'm starting to get into a summer frame of mind. For those students who took the Common Core Algebra 2 exam a couple of weeks ago and are anxiously waiting to find out what the results are, I still have no clue. June 23rd is when the state is supposed to put out the curve, which, yes, is the second to the last day of the school year, depending on where you're at. So if you took that exam and you don't have to take the Algebra 2 and Trig exam later on this week, I hope that you're relaxing and you're enjoying a little math-free time. On the other hand, if you're taking Common Core Algebra 1, you have a test tomorrow. That's right, at 8 a.m., Thousands upon thousands of kids all over New York State will be taking the Common Core Algebra 1 exam. You're going to have three hours for that exam at the bare minimum. Take your time, think hard about the problems, and remember your basics. And you'll be just fine on it. All right? Don't let the test intimidate you. Don't worry about getting this score or that score. A lot of that's dependent upon the curve, and you have no control over that. Just remember to think clearly. Get a good night's sleep tonight, eat a good meal tomorrow morning, and be prepared for that test. And as I said in the last video, we always have to keep in mind that no single test defines us as a learner, and certainly no single test defines us as a person. And at the end of the day, what you always have to keep in mind is that at least, at the very minimum, you're not a llama. Okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I love llamas. Llamas are great. But they spit, especially if you stare them in the eye. All right. So, get a good night's sleep tonight, all of my Common Core Algebra 1 students out there. Good luck tomorrow. I know that you're going to do great. I know you're going to make your teachers proud. I know that you're going to make me proud. But most important, make yourself proud. Okay? Until next time, I'm Kirk Weiler. Keep thinking and keep solving problems.